What's up, Chipper Chaps? This is Chipper Chap Chap episode 67. 67. Meow, meow, meow. I am Fure. And I'm Chamba. And we're going to talk about some nerdy shit. Yep. Uh, also, before that, obviously, you can notice that this is a video. We're trying something out here. It's a test run. It's a test sure. run. Yep. yep. <laughs> um, Could be garbage, but we'll see. Hopefully there's a more few of these. trailers we missed while mm -hmm. you were overseas. Yes, I was overseas so, for a week. So we talk about record. this real quick mm -hmm. and test this video shit out. Yeah. So uh, what do you want to talk about first? Transformers? Um, do you know what? Actually, or let's talk about the Marvel vs. Thing first. Okay, so there was a new Marvel vs. Capcom game announced. Mm -hmm. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite instead of Marvel vs. Capcom 4 for whatever reason. Uh, there was three versions of the trailer put out. They had like a cinematic version a gameplay, and then an extended gameplay. Yep, 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 yep. The cinematic trailer shows Mega Man and Ryu fighting Iron Man and Captain Marvel. Yes! What did you think of uh, the, the choice of design that they used for Captain Marvel? Uh, it didn't bother me. Kanoi said that it looked like Super Saiyan version of her. Uh, it was the one with the mask, right? Hair glows. Yeah, yeah. They did. They. It looks like her mask comes on as part of an like an ultimate or something. It's not always on. Which is weird. It is weird, but I don't know enough about the character to be right. like complaining yeah. about it. Um, That's true. Um, but then the gameplay footage they show the same fight, and then the, in the extended version they show a couple more characters. They got Captain America and... Morgan. And Morgan. She looks Morgan. good. Yeah, they they look good. They look like they fight like the old school game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Captain America's design looks kind of like the Ultimates version yes. of him, which is cool enough, I guess. I'm sure they'll have a bunch of alternate skins. They right, right, do. right. Um... So yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to see more. I can't wait to see what other random new characters they bring. True. Um, Won't be surprised if we see uh, you Spider, Spider Gwen. Oh, Spider Gwen! Yeah. If uh, we get Venom, I want either Agent Venom or the Guardians version of Venom. Either one of those, I'd be fine with seeing, just because it'd be so much different mm -hmm. um, than just a symbiote suit, right? But I don't, I don't know. Like I want to see Black Panther. I feel sure. like I'm sure very we'll get likely. like Doctor Strange. We'll get hopefully Ant Man. That'll be cool. I don't know. Like Ant Man doing it would be tight. But I'm like I don't know how that would work. You'd have to like start off normal and switch between tiny yeah, yeah. during moves or something. But they showed him in Marvel's Capcom Three. He was part of a Hawkeye. Ultimate. Right, 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 right. And then uh, Doctor Strange, I think, was in Part Three as well. He was. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited for it, man. I can't wait to see what random ass characters get thrown in it. Should be good. I want Nightcrawler, but I feel like it's probably not gonna happen. But I want it. I'm actually more curious about what Capcom characters will be in this because right now Capcom doesn't exactly have a lot of games out unless they really dive back into the well and just use old, old characters, which you know I've got no beef about. They gotta bring like because the game is in is infinite. And it seems like it's about the Infinity Stones. Mm. They gotta bring in like a couple Power Stone characters. I feel like that would be that rad. would be th also that would be amazing because there would basically be Capcom saying, "Hey, we've got them back. Let's right. you know." Or it's almost like testing the waters, where it's like, "Hey, if people if they get received really well, then people might be like, hey, why not let's do a, like a new Power Stone game.'" And then, well, Capcom apparently has been putting it out there that they want to bring a lot of old franchises back. So I'm, I would love it, but I doubt they can. Um, There's like, just too many weird rights yeah, things. Yeah, like exactly. Like I would use like Lin Kurosawa or Dutch Major Dutch Schaefer from AVP. That's such a fucking deep cut, though. It is super deep, but oh goodness, if they had like Lin Kurosawa in there, it'd be sick. That's I'd be sick. fine with it, but that would be so random. Like oh, I'd yeah, be yeah. fine with it. Yeah, yeah. But man, would that be random. Yeah, yeah. I, I, want, <laughs> I, I want Captain Commando back. Captain Commando would be dope. I want it back. I would love for them to make a new version of those games just because they right. they don't really have side scroll beat beat 'em ups anymore. And if they if they made them and it and it's awesome, they can basically bring them back. 
I'm all about it. I'm yep. all about it. Completely. Uh, well, let's jump game. into this movie Wait, shit. One more game. What's that? One more game. What's that? Uh, uh, Akuma reveal. Oh, yeah. Fucking. Okay, you go first. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go first. Um, the, the, the beastly A. Blinken beard. Mm hmm. I don't like it. It looks like an idiot. I fucking hate it. Yeah, everyone's like, it's like a lion's man. I'm like, yeah, but what's with that fucking top knot that's curled here? It's like a wild... He, You know what? If it was facial hair, that's that. Right. Fine. But, not, but it's not. But, yeah. He's like don't a flower. This part. Yeah, it's, it's a wild A. Blinken. I'm like, that's silly. Yeah, he looks like oh, a flower. Like a sunflower. He put his face through and go... <laughs> I hate it, dude. It's stupid. I, I saw it and I was like, that's dumb. That's so dumb. I like the way the, like, super fucked up version of him looks, where he's got, like, the holes in his body with the light coming through it. I think See, that's interesting. that's cool, because it's almost like his body's breaking apart. Right. Yeah. But I'm like, all right, cool. Akuma's in there. I figured he'd eventually rock up. I don't like that design. Mm -mm. I think it's garbage. But yeah, that's it. I've heard a lot of people saying, like, oh, but... He looks just as good as the Tekken version. I'm like, what the fuck are Get you talking fucked. about? The Tekken version looks like what Street Fighter should and could look like. Do you think it's possible that we get a Tekken character in that new batch of Street Fighter characters that's going to come out because Tekken got uh, got Kuma? That would be really I interesting. Wonder that would be interesting. who they would take, though. Uh... Like, who's the equivalent on their side? Hayachi? But he's shit. I don't like him. Like maybe, Devil Kazuya? Maybe, maybe or Devil, yeah. Maybe Devil Kazuya. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But They'd still him, like, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I fucking hate that design, though. Like, I thought I about it. Like, like maybe I should try and draw this yeah, to see if there's a version of it I like. I, I, like, nope, I like, hate it. I was like, <laughs> if I drew it, though, I would give him a wild beard. Like, a full beard. Right. Not this, like, I want to shave just above my lips. They didn't want it because that's too. Because then it's like taking some of Wild Man Ryu's shine. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Obviously, they did. <laughs> Silly, but you know. Would have made him bald, even. Whatever. That would have been interesting. I'd like to see the version of him where he's bald, but he only has that one tuck yeah, that's in the ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> no. Almost like maggot. All right, let's uh, speak trailers. All right, so mummy first or transformers first? Let's go. Let's go transformers first. Let's go from like worst to best. All right, so <laughs> you you know about transformers? I don't know shit about it. I know. It, so. I know. I, I know. I know transformers. I'm not like a uh, super super fan where I know everything. Right. But I I'm a fan of the original animated film. That's like it's the best transformers movie. <laughs> Well, what did um, you think of the trailer? Does it make you pumped for it? Well, I'm going to watch it. I know people like, if you don't like it, why do you watch it in the cinema? Because it's a, it's a film made to be watched in the cinema. You yeah. know? Uh, there's no way, like, yeah, I'll watch this movie on my phone. It's not going to do it justice. I'll watch it on a TV. Maybe. On a big screen TV. Sure. Mm -hmm. But in the cinema with the, like, the sound pulsating in my ears. The trailer's random. I have no idea what's going on. There's a fucking dragon, robot dragon. With nice. Is that a thing? thing? Yeah, well, because one of the uh, the Dinobots in the previous film had like two heads. This one, I think, had three heads or some it shit. It looked like it had three, but yeah, it looked like I had three. But um, I don't know. Film is ra the trailer's random. Too random. Does the 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 Anthony Hopkins and the knights and the Nazis and shit? Does that get you excited for it or more weary of it? I'm weary regardless for Transformers films. Because More Wahlberg. That's true, but it's not like... I don't know if that's good. <laughs> like, it's something. Like, More Transformers is just that. More Transformers. It's going to make money. Fact. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to watch it. Fact. Will I like it? I hope. I hope I like right. it. One can only hope. Exactly. So, uh, the film looks random. The trailer looks random. Uh, I hope the film is good. I also hope that. Yeah, I would. I would. I would appreciate it if it's a good film. Um, next trailer. The Mummy. Mm -hmm. This is the 
the reboot, reboot of the Mummy franchise. Right. No longer connected, as far as we know, to the nope. Brendan Fraser movies of old. Nope. Right. Uh, at the at the beginning, it kind of looked like Edge of Tomorrow to me, but I think that's just him chilling in a helicopter now equals that. And you know what, uh, though? If this film is, say, if I enjoy this film as much as I enjoyed Edge of, Edge of Tomorrow, to me it's mm-hmm. going to be a good film. At least for me. I wonder me. who's directing this one. I didn't actually look. Uh, did the mummy herself yes. look interesting to you or sure. less threatening than the old one? Um, there's something threatening about a female villain for me. Yeah. Because it, 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 it's like, it's not about the, oh, they look super powerful, where they're giant, they're bigger than the hero. This one, it's like, she shouldn't be, or she doesn't look like she should be threatening because she's smaller. That's usually mm-hmm. an automatic thing. But because of that, there's probably greater power that you know that they wield because it's like, oh yeah, her frame doesn't really say much. Uh, her appearance yeah. look cool. I like the splitting uh, eye thing. Split that was the cool. eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that was, was really cool. She looks like she continues to have the sand powers from the old movies. Right, right, right. Um, and she can apparently make bats fly at you and they make killed you the immortal. shit out of pilots. Oh yeah, and everybody on that plane except for the girl he put the parachute on. Right, and. I guess him also. But it spoiler? definitely trailer, seemed like he died. Yeah. yeah. He died. Definitely he seemed definitely like he died. died. Um, I don't know, man. I'm ex- I like I, I, I'm interested. I wouldn't say I'm excited. I'm definitely interested. I think I'll watch this in the cinema. Um, I like, might. By by saying I'll watch it, if if I have mates that go, hey, let's go watch, it, I'll be like, sure. I've got to see some more trailers before I commit to spending a bunch of money on it, but so far I'm interested. I'm interested Russell Crowe's in it. Who is in it? Russell Crowe. Oh, yeah, as Dr. Jekyll or whatever. Right. Super weird. I'm curious about how all that shit's going to work out, the connected monsterverse. Who would you want to see in the monsterverse, though? I mean, who do they have the rights to use? They've got the mummy, they've got... um... Frankenstein? Dracula? They got, Dra- they got Dracula and Frankenstein. Do they have the, uh, what's it, is he like a, the, the creature from the Black Lagoon? They got that too. Is that all? The Wolfman? Wolfman, okay. Um, that's the only one, Universal Monsters I can think of. Like, who Maybe are they supposed the to Phantom fight? Phantom of the like, Opera or something? If they were supposed to say, fight a big bad in the end, are they like gonna fight like Cthulhu or something? I fucking hope so, because that's so <laughs> weird and random right? that, sure, I want to see Tom Cruise and a mummy fight Cthulhu. Cthulhu. But, like, he's a Thanos-like Cthulhu. That's so weird. Hey, what else, like, are you going to fight? Go- Wait, is there a ghost character? Invisible Man. That was supposed to be Johnny Depp. He's not a ghost, though. He's just kind of invisible. That's probably, it's the closest thing that I can think When you of. think about it, he's kind of shit. He's just invisible. You can still punch him. He's still physically there. Yeah, you just don't know where he is. Maybe. Okay. I wonder if, like, heat vision works on Invisible Man. Right. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Because it's, it's not like he's reflecting light where, in a sense, he's still... Yeah, I don't know. He's weird. Infrared. Could Predator Infrared. see the Invisible Man? <laughs> <laughs> he would kill the shit out of him. <laughs> First, he'd ask him if he wants some candy, then he'd fucking kill him. Right. He'd rip his spine out. Do you remember um, Hollow Man? Did you see that movie? Yes, I do remember that film. Do you remember Kevin Bacon's Invisible Dingus? Yes, that was weird. That was weird. <laughs> it was very weird. So okay. you think he'll do that? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. It's universal, though. Maybe. Um, uh, so yeah, that trailer looked cool. Um, Guardians 2. Guardians 2. 2. It was, it was like a second trailer or a teaser. Kind of. It wasn't like a full trailer. No, no. They still have yet to do a full, full trailer. But we, sh- we saw Mantis. We did for a second. And yeah. she looked about like I expected. Pretty much. Um, uh, we got a lot of Baby Groot. Which seems fine. Yeah, I was I was okay. a little bit surprised that still Vin Diesel voicing it. They did like an Alvin and the Chipmunks they thing did. too. They did. Because you know he wanted to be part of it. Oh yeah. And they, you know, they got to keep him around because yeah. he's going to grow back. Yeah, exactly. And then when he grows back, he can just say the same thing over and over again. Do you again. think that he will grow back in this normal, movie? In this movie, I don't know. Because technically, they can. 
But I'd, I think they might keep him as like a a kid for a while, unless of course, say he becomes like a, a like a, a, like a teenager in this film. Right. I don't know how fast his uh, regeneration is supposed to be. Well, they said it's been like two months since the first Guardians. Okay, so he's grown quite a bit. He looks like he's yeah. about. Oh, he's grown quite a bit then. Yeah, he looks like toddler or something. Yeah, he might he might be full adult by the end of the film, depending on how long the time frame of this film is. A teenage like adolescent Groot sounds fucking bizarre to me. I right. can't even wrap my head around that. Because essentially, he would be what? Uh, maybe Star Lord height even. Right, he's got a bunch of like wood piercings all over his face. That's weird. I'm fine with that. Um, That's weird. They didn't fight, show like, any uh, Yondu starfish thing. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Uh, they didn't. They, yeah, they didn't uh, show Yondu or uh, Nebula. They didn't. They didn't. So, I'm okay with that. No Kurt Russell. No Kurt Russell yet. They showed uh, the main team, which is good. No Stallone. No Stallone. No Tango and Cash. No uh, motherfucking Nathan Fillion. Not. Nah. Oh, yeah, shit, he's in this movie too. Damn it, this movie is going to be sweet. Yeah, they got uh, Wonder dude. Man in there somewhere, man. Dude, this movie, uh, Marvel, Marvel, why are you doing this to me? Right? <laughs> why are you doing this to me, man? Looking forward to it. Oh, goodness. But yeah, Volume 2, if it's as good as the first one, I got no problems in it. It's. Yeah. I'm gonna Everything love it. I've seen looks yeah. fine. I'm gonna love it. If it's no as good as the first here. one, I'm gonna love it. Now, music onto... seems just as good. Exactly, and because it's like the volume two, hopefully it's the second. It's the it's the second cassette. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, but now onto the uh, the main event. The main event thing. The thing that uh. We need was... like the belt graphic from WWE to come in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Marvel know how to do that belt. in these editing videos things. So, <laughs> imagine um, it, people just imagine it coming. So we got a 18 second teaser yesterday. Yeah. Uh, which showed off. He's got the web wings on his suit now. I can't believe they're doing this, dude. Ah. The trailer was cut in an interesting way. Yes. Where they make it seem like it's an upgrade to the suit he got in Civil War. But in the POV shots, he's definitely still wearing his, like, homemade costume. Yeah. So I'm wondering if the movie starts off before Civil War and... Oh, like, kind of like home, home video? Or something, because they, they, they show a clip of him in class watching footage from the Civil War fight. Right, so he must have been but, recording himself. But he gets that upgrade from Happy... Yes. At some point. Yes. And in this and in the longer trailer, uh they show him like he says something about he apologizes to Liv. Is it Liv? Liz. Liz. And says, uh oh, like I'm I'm swamped or I'm smashed right yeah. now or something like that. And then he gets hit by a like a side of a bus. Yeah. And when he hits the bus and falls down, he's wearing his homemade mm -hmm. costume. Do you reckon? Um, essentially, they'll pull, uh, kind of almost Doctor Strange-like, where we will get bits and pieces of his origin, in a sense. But not, like, how he got his power, maybe even. Right. But we see pre-Civil War and then post-Civil War. I think so, because, okay, so in the, in the, in the US trailer... The vibe definitely seems more towards the Adam H not Adam Hughes. <laughs> John. John Hughes. Yes. It seems Hughes. much <laughs> much closer to that vibe. Like even the right. the music and the right, right. and the. I like it though, dude. I like that. Yeah, I, lo I love that. But the international trailer, they seem Was... like they cut a lot of that stuff out, and they're like, "Here's Spider Man stuff." Yeah, yeah. I think because. I don't know. It's it's. I'm glad that we got both trailers because we got to see more from uh, the international one in terms of action and whatnot. But the vibe of the US one is what I'm feeling. Right, right, right. Uh, which is fine because they yeah. they actually like in the international one they actually show Keaton in the Vulture costume. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Which we don't get any shots of that in the US one. Also, in the international one, we got to see um, Shocker. 
Okay, see, that was the thing. In the in the U.S. version, they, there's one shot of a white dude that looks like Tom Hardy, but it's not Tom Hardy. I think we talked about that guy that looked like Tom Hardy that got cast. He's shooting some kind of gun, but his outfit looks like the Shocker outfit. Yep. And I think he's even got one of the Shocker gloves on. So maybe he's Shocker? I thought that, but then in the international trailer, they show the dude from Big Hit, the black dude, I can't remember the name of. They show him, and he's got like a power gauntlet on as well. And it looks like even the same outfit, so I'm wondering maybe, if there's like a shocker yeah, gang. Maybe. Because um, if you heard, I'm not sure what he said exactly, but Michael Keaton, when he was speaking, it's like, we, it's time for us to take over or some shit like that. Yeah, he said, the world is changing, it's time we so, change too. Yeah, or time we like. change too. It's like, that means he's speaking to people like he's not solo. Right, I feel like oh, he's he's, he's teching he's teching villains out. Yeah, uh, Dude, to we try could, and... for all we know, this could be the beginning of the Sinister Six. I really feel like it qu quite possibly could be, and but it's fucking cool, dude. Okay, so in the U.S. trailer, they have the, I guess they have part of it in the other one as well, but they have the scene where he's uh, stopping the fake Avengers from like robbing an ATM or something. I don't even yeah, know yeah. what the fuck they're doing. But they were using some kind of weird ass gun thing too. You think fucking, it's alien tech or they think it's hammer tech? It no, it's uh they already said that the fucking Tinkerer is in this movie. Right. He's making shit for them. But then I thought Tinkerer's using um the alien tech, right? To make right. He's shit. using the yeah, Chitari yeah. weapons yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff to make new Dude, stuff. This film. Oh yeah, the Tinkerer is in it. It's that one actor yeah. guy. Right. The one that looks like Tom Hardy. Maybe he was is he the one that was supposed to be the tinkerer? Yeah, yeah he's tinkerer. Oh. So maybe he's testing the the weaponry first, and then they give it to others, basically. Yeah, I think maybe it is something like that, because the shot where they show him shooting the gun... Yeah. Because I thought to him, he was supposed to be tinkerer. Next to him is Donald Glover. For that one shot. Who now, the fuck is Donald Glover supposed to be? I thought he's supposed to be a teacher. I thought he was too, but obviously not if you watch that little because he's only in that one shot where he's standing next to the Tom Hardy guy. Do you think he's but supposed he's to wearing be... he's wearing like street clothes and stuff, like like a hood or some shit. What's so, the Miles Morales' uncle's name? I thought he uh, was a He's the Prowler. But... Maybe he's the Prowler, but if he was the Prowler. I was thinking that, but he in the in the trailer he's not dressed like the Prowler right, dressed I get at that. all. But maybe again, like civilian things. wise, he just, he's wearing things. like a right. big ass shirt, and right. like, he just looks like some random hood. But maybe. I'm wondering if maybe How he's just he's a client prowler? of the. T if he was a prowler, I'm fine with it. I think I think we talked about that in one of the yeah, old maybe. episodes. Maybe. I I'm fine with that being the case. Like if that's like a a hint to it. Another thing, the Ned Leeds character is definitely ganky, like. Yeah. <laughs> In all things but name, yeah, he is gank. He's got the hair. He's got the attitude. He's even playing with Legos. Yeah, it's when he him. sees uh, Peter come into the room, uh, he drops he like a, a Lego Death Star or whatever. Yeah, he like touches it, and the whole thing like releases. Yeah, which was cool. I was like, that's neat. It is, but I'm like, if that's all it takes, wouldn't he be naked all the time as soon as somebody right, punches him in sure. the chest? <laughs> <laughs> he punches him with the chest, and he has to wear a he has to wear a paper bag, right? Because <laughs> his shirt comes off. He wears a paper bag and he's that, yeah. Um, uh, he knows, so obviously, yeah, that's cool. But yeah, he's definitely Genki. So I'm like, if they ever do Miles, they can't do Genki again, because it would be way too similar. Uh, and, and they still, they didn't refer, they referred to Liz as Liz. They didn't say anything about the name of the girl who calls them losers. And they didn't say, that's the only scene she was in, basically. That's the only scene, and that yeah. one was the was one of the scenes they said they saw at Comic-Con. Okay. Okay. So, I really don't know what the fucking plan is with her. I really think they're going to breakfast club it, or she's all that it, where she's like, <laughs> Dude. The, she's she talks shit on them, yeah. and then at the dance, she shows up, and she's like, you just hit the jackpot, because remember? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, I watched Breakfast Club again, on the plane, Yeah. and I was like, this movie's fucking great, and if Spider-Man The Homecoming captures any aspect Right. This film, it's gonna be so bloody good. Yep. So bloody good. Best birthday present to me from Marvel. 
It's gonna be excellent. But uh, that try like his suit looks uh, he looks much better in this than he did in Civil War. Yeah, well I think you know what I think it is though, partially at least, is I think that there was less after the fact CGIing to do. Because mm -hmm. in the first movie he was there in a suit, but the suit didn't look like the suit right, right. that we got, so there was a lot more correction. Right, right, right. Whereas I feel like in this one he had the suit, He was so. on set filming. They just did stuff like remove the neck wrinkles and shit yes, like that yeah, to yeah. make it all seamless. Dude, though, he's Which, got the web wings, man. <laughs> I, you know, I've never liked the fucking web wings. I know, not, but not uh, ever. Uh, to and me, it's... I've seen I've seen some drawings where it looked like a cape, and I'm like, why? <laughs> where, like, if it's on if it's on 2099 version, I'm fine yes. with it because they're all like tattered and, and yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's specific to him. I'm fine with it. On the regular Spider-Man, I never liked it, and it's like worst case scenario because they made them huge. They like go down to his fucking waist so that he can glide, which I get. I was like, they wanted him to have like a squirrel suit kind of deal, which is fine, but definitely never been a fan of those. But I think it just adds to the this suit is supposed to be their the MCU version of the Iron Spider outfit because that one can glide is, as well. Yeah, it is like. In the international trailer, how he, they showed more, uh, slightly extended scenes of him in the car with Tony. Yeah. And it was like, do we get to keep the suit? And like, yeah, yeah. What, 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 not going to fit me. Right. So it's like, that's his now. So I guess it is his Iron Spidey, but it's just technically just his Spider-Man suit. Right, right. Which, yeah. you know, the Iron Spidey suit in the comics could look like the classic suit if he wanted it to. He could, like, think it and it would change into whatever suit he wanted. It was real bizarre. Um, but yeah, everything I've seen for it, man, I'm stoked. I wasn't expecting the last shot, though. When they show him swing through the city and Iron Man flying with him. Oh, like, team-ups, bro. Yeah, I didn't expect him to actually participate in the fight. But right. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. If there's so much emphasis on him being in it, they're not going to not have Iron Man in it. I wonder, though, like... Do you think he'll be in it a lot because of that do you think that um they've risen people's expectations of tony stark slash iron man's presence in this film by showing him in in those many shots in this trailer i kind of don't think so i feel like he'll be i feel like he'll be kind of the uh the the role that nick fury had in the ultimate spider-man books mm. Um, in the Ultimate Spider-Man books, Nick Fury was kind of like a a surrogate father in a way, as far as the superhero world goes. Like he, you know, when he needed upgrades to his web shooters, he went to Shield, and Shield hooked him up. Uh, things like that. And uh, I think because they're not going to have Sam Jackson participate in these movies anymore, it seems like. Right. Uh, I think they. I think they're just kind of having Tony do it, and it's it's more fun that way. They always That's had an true. interesting relationship in the comics, like uh, the banter and whatnot. And he always looked up to Tony in the book. So, and now it makes more like he's essentially like the uncle. Yeah, I can't imagine he'll be in the movie more than Spider Man was in Civil War. Yeah, like oh, I yeah. think he'll I think he'll be in a couple scenes out of the costume, and he'll probably show up for a fight at the end of the movie. Maybe. Mm. I don't even know if that fight happens at the end. Where I don't I think, think so. I, you know, I honestly don't think it is. I think it's. I kind of don't think so either. But I, it's hard to tell because that thing's all over the place, editing wise. I, I just, it's. We finally got to see this trailer. This yeah. is something that we've wanted to yeah. see for the longest time. I think the next, maybe I don't know if we'll be as excited, but the next, say, Power Rangers trailer where we'll see more Power Rangers will also get us, I think, excited enough. But not, not to this extent, obviously. This is, this is uh, the premium. I, there's still so much new. Yeah. Like, we kind of, we kind of know what to expect with the Spider-Man Homecoming because we got him in Civil War. Mm -hmm. But with Power Rangers, we still haven't seen those motherfuckers do anything I know, as Power true. Rangers. Right, right. Yeah, that's true. Because with Spider-Man, we have already seen right. him be Spidey in Civil War. And that that was the the, the taste of yeah. what what to expect. This trailer, obviously, um, both trailers, both slight edit trailers, just gives us a 
a, at least a better idea of what this film is going to be. And for yeah, sure. and, and I, so far so good. Yeah, so far so good. I think um, your your sentiments last episode of being creamy is is definitely present. Oh yeah, I'm I'm staying creamy off yeah. this one. It's it's for sure. gonna be a messy, but well, <laughs> well worth it. Well worth it. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna have to mop up after, but I'm yeah, excited. I'm just I'm just in like a like a little bucket. I'm standing in a bucket because <laughs> that will just. I like uh, the scene where he is stopping the robbers with the Avengers masks on. Yeah. It's kind of our first taste of him like fighting normal thugs. And also, and I, I, he's I like how nothing they were to him. Yeah, like he's ke- catching punches and dodging everything. That is exactly how that should exactly. be. And then, uh, contrast to that, the last shot where he's basically holding together the fucking ship. Yeah, dude, that's <laughs> so bonkers. Like now, in the international one thing trailer, cool about that though was that they showed him actually blast through the ship. In the in the U.S. one, you don't see what tears yeah, yeah. the ship. In half. No, no. One thing that's cool about that, though, is that it's not just him holding those two together. If you, The focus behind him is his web is all over that thing, holding it together. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not just him pulling it like this, I'm holding this and that. Behind him, like, because, the, you know, uh, uh, the, the ship itself, it's quite deep. So within that, his webbing is holding it together, Very too. Very reminiscent of the Raimi train-stopping right. scene. But, to me, and it's it is a little leveled up from that. It is, but it's just I mean he's in the Jesus yeah, yeah, pose the with Jesus the like pose. spread out webs. The difference and stuff, though, right? Him... His mask is on. Yeah, <laughs> in that scene, he didn't. He he's didn't... got a, he's got a couple with him with it off though, and that's fine. But it's not like off where it's ripped off. Right, right, right. Whereas, no battle. You know, no, no battle damage. Uh, he didn't have scrunchy face. They didn't show scrunchy face, and he probably will eventually have a scrunchy face. But nothing, you know, not like the Tobey Maguire scrunchy face. I'm excited. I am I'm excited too. for yeah. the Genki character to be included. Uh, the fact that it's Ned Leeds is real bizarre to me because I just can't imagine them ever, ever making that chubby kid Hobgoblin. That's, I just feel like that's not happening. I think at this point, the name is just there for the Easter egg sake. It's like, listen, we're not going to do... Hobgoblin. We're going to use characters that you, as that, that the readers are familiar with, but we're not because we're not going to have those characters in there. We'll just use the names and other things in the like. We'll just sprinkle it throughout the film in a sense. Where right. It's like you know, it's like here's Easter eggs for you guys. Here's like things that you will like. Go, oh, that's cool. That's cool that you included that in there without fully including it. I just wonder a little bit why not just call him Genki. That could be a nickname that he gets. It could be. I but just maybe feel like they're, they're avoiding the name it. For right, I just feel like they're avoiding it because they'd be like, "Oh, you just you took Genki from Miles, and now you're not gonna do Miles, and I'm sad." Which you know, I don't know. I, it, it, he's fully that character, though. His personality, uh, his his look, everything. He is the Genki character, That's regardless cool. of what name they gave. And at this point, again, like, all right. Seeing as you said, you can't see him ever as being a Hobgoblin. Is that right. going to be an issue for you now that they can't use the Ned Leeds guy as Hobgoblin down the road? If they ever planned on it. Not really, because I can't imagine them ever doing Hobgoblin in right. a movie anyway. Because it's too much to explain. Exactly. So They've got to have Green Goblin before they get the Hobgoblin. Exactly. And, and I, that's why don't, I, feel I feel like, like they'll save him. Exactly. That's why I feel it's fine. Like It's not right. where it's like, oh, now we can't have bloody Hobgoblin. Right. You know, in the seventh film down the road. I'd be more concerned with it means we can't get actual Genki, but I feel like they signed Tom Holland with the express purpose of this motherfucker's going to be Spider-Man until he's an adult. And I'm so and, fucking uh, glad if that's the case. And I'm yeah. fine with that. If we, get, if we like, realistically get to take Spider-Man from high school all the way up to when he's like a teacher... Uh, that would be bananas because we've never gotten that. Uh, dude, this is basically if we if if we get with this Spider Man, what Fox has I guess tried to do with uh, um, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, where he's played right. Wolverine for well, decade, de- a decade, over a decade. Right. If we can get that with Tom Holland, that'd be amazing. Well, I mean, 
it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, we've almost got we've almost got Robert Downey for a decade now. That's true. That's true. Because that shit came out two thousand eight. Ah oh, shit! So in We're two years, we'll have had Iron Man for a decade. We are spoiled. I love oh, yeah. it. I love it so much. Oh yeah. I don't know. That trailer though, right. man. Uh, July can't come soon enough. Fucking, I'll be coming till July. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should just load it up. I know. It's, it's just gonna be on a constant tap until July. Oh, uh, it's just dripping. No, it's not even yeah. dripping. It's just leaking. Yep, just full, full faucet. I can't seal it. It's just. Mm-hmm. So I'm, so I'm standing in a bucket. Yeah, I can't cork it. I'll blow uh, it up. Uh, excitement, creamy, so creamy. Oh yeah, I can't fucking wait for it, man. <sighs> and, I, you know, it'd be one thing if like well, the trailer came out and there was a lot of shit to hate on, but so right. far nothing out of there looked yeah, yeah. bad. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, I'm sure on YouTube right now, there's probably cats going, "Oh, this aspect was garbage." Blah blah. That was, that's that yeah. looks stupid. And, you know, but people are gonna find negative in everything. So that's just kind of how it is. The new Avengers headquarters look pretty cool. Mm. It's that scene where he's walking with Tony, and he's like, "Yep, don't worry about the flying monsters. Yep, yep, There's yep. people to handle that." The screens in the background look like they've got like the Avengers logo happening, and uh, Happy do Hogan's walking around. Do you with think them. we'll get more of the? Um... Oh wait, it's just Tony right now because that's right. Steve Rogers and the other cats split right. off. They're hidden or whatever. Vision though, Vision's got a Vision, Vision could be in it. An appearance. Ah, uh, I'm just glad. That, that the start where it shows Sony and then Marvel Studios, mm-hmm. it just made me go yes, yes, this it's is happening. It's, this it's is real. It. This is it. It's officially real. It is. After five Spider-Man films, this is the one that's supposed. To, this is the one. Right. This is the one. So. I'm excited, man. I am too. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad it's come out. I, I was. I thought. I thought they were gonna release it with Rogue One. Oh well, I'm I'm sure it is going to be on Rogue One as well. This they they all put the trailers out ahead of time to get as many of them ready to play before Rogue. One. That's why we got Transformers and the Mummy and I all guess, that shit. Yeah, They're yeah. all going like, come on, put it yeah. in front of Star Wars. And seeing that in front of you know, seeing so if you watch Star Wars on IMAX, uh, on IMAX, you seeing those trailers oh. on IMAX, oh, cream yes. worthy, dude. Just super in cream. 3D man, 3D yeah, that trailer. Honestly, like. I know people want to ha- like we just spoke of Transformers and people definitely hate on it just because and understandably yeah. so they're not very good, but mm-hmm. when you watch it in IMAX it is it's it's a feast. <laughs> right. It is a visual feast. It's yeah. in the end of it you're like I'm 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 not full I'm not fulfilled <laughs> but while I was eating I was I was engorging myself. Right. It's With, like binge eating junk food. Exactly. It's that exactly. It's Junk food that's so delicious at the time. Afterwards, you'll regret. You'll probably have diarrhea. Mm-hmm. But as you're watching it, it's it's good. It's like, <laughs> it's just it's all there. So all right, yeah. I don't that's, know, the, yeah that's probably everything the best looks... description for it. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just junk food. It all looks interesting to me, so yeah. I'm not so right. far. But Spider Man, uh, Homecoming on IMAX, the trailer. I mean, watching the movie on IMAX for sure. Because oh, yeah. we're watching that on IMAX. Oh, yeah. I'm going to invite sure. as many people as I can to that shit, too. Because it's my fucking birthday when that <laughs> drops. I feel like they knew because they made it officially come out the day after. Because they knew I would see it the day before. Right. They were like, no, no. They know it. They know. It's like, why? Because uh, Royce is turning. He's, 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 it's his uh, birth anniversary that day. What am I turning? Let's treat. Two? Is it 30, 33? Three. Holy shit. Yep. Old man now, man. You officially passed Jesus by that point. <laughs> <sighs> Is, am I that's wrong? Milestone. Am yeah, I, I wrong? I no, I think that's accurate. Yeah, okay, cool. There we go. Jesus! <laughs> not till um, then. Though. Not, no, till, not then. till then. Not till then, of course. But And they threw Spider-Man in the Jesus pose. See? Just for me. <laughs> Fate, he's holding the ship yep. with his webs. Ah, oh, dude. I'm stoked, dude. What sucks, though, right? As soon as that mm-hmm. film ends, I'm going to be like, damn it, I want to watch another one. So oh, let's I'm watch more that shit probably multiple times that week. I'm no, no, sure. as in, like, let's watch the sequel to this right now, immediately. Yeah. 
We get we get Guardians right before that though. I know. And then Thor like a I couple know. Like, month or two <laughs> after. Oh, but also in March we're getting uh, Iron Fist. Oh yeah, and Power Rangers. Shit. Oh yeah, 2017 is gonna be nanners. Oh, dude. It's it seems like we say this every time though. We well for the last couple of years it's yeah. been nanners. It's been pretty <laughs> bonkers. Like how can they do this to us? I don't know, man. I mean, in a year where we all we already got Deadpool, BVS, and Civil War in one year, and Suicide Squad, and Suicide Squad, that's pretty fucking bananas. Yep. And next year we're getting Spider Man, Guardians, Thor Ragnarok slash Planet Hulk. <sighs> uh, is there an, and Wolverine as well, right? Yeah. It's gonna be fucking ape shit, dude. Mm -hmm. Ape shit. Uh, superhero fatigue? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah, not, not, not for me. Not for me. Nah. The rest of the world can be fatigued. Yeah, I'm gonna keep watching them till that shit burns down. Because <laughs> technically, also to me, it's not fatigue because it's one every few months apart. Right. If they did like five in the same month, that's mm -hmm. like that's yeah maybe. And it's not fatigue for me because I'm just no. not tired of it yet. Until I'm thing, tired yeah. of it, I'm exactly. not fatigued. I might actually I'm... be more fatigued by uh, superhero television. Right, that for sure, and, yeah. and I think it's more to do with with it's quality weekly. as well. Like, yeah. if if they put out stuff that's quality, people right. are gonna keep right. seeing it. Like, I haven't been fatigued by the Netflix stuff. Right, and we marathon the shit out of that when it's. Oh yeah, we out. did. Unhealthful. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Uh, whereas, like, I am feeling fatigued from CW shows, even yeah. though it's released weekly. It's not the same level. As say the Netflix ones, which I can just destroy, devour in one go. So I don't know. I don't know. Did you watch the four part thing? Nope. Yet? I was overseas, so I didn't get a chance to watch right, it. Right, right. But I don't know if I'm super interested because so far no one's been really talking about it as if it's like this is a must watch. Yeah. And that's not a good sign. I think it's I think it's entertaining. Because I was already falling off from it. It was not as... <laughs> Epic as they wanted? It was not as cohesive as I thought it would be. Oh, okay. Or connected, rather. Like, I thought it was going to be literally four parts back-to-back -back that were oh, all it's one not. story. Not really. Like, the Supergirl episode, you don't even see that there's any connection until the very end of the episode. That's how, the, how the fuck is that a crossover? Right, and then the Flash episode is gr is actually good, worth watching for sure. Is that the one where all of them rock up? Yeah, okay. and then the the Arrow episode is kind of like a because it's also the hundredth episode of Arrow. There's like it's kind of a nostalgia trip of like, here's all the shit that's ever happened on Arrow. Wasn't that nuts? Oh, okay. Which is fine. Right. It's still kind of connected. <laughs> right, right. But. Nothing really progresses in the invasion story in that one. Okay. Whereas, and and then in uh, Legends, they kind of it's kind of a, a team up like Flash was. So I think Flash and Legends might be the ones to watch. Yeah, you could almost just watch those two and fully understand what's Technically, happening. Technically, those were the only ones that I was actually really watching. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't know. I'll if I get bored and I'm. I need something to watch. But there's always something for me to watch, so that's the problem. Oh, I don't know. That's the thing about now, man. There's, there's always, always something. something to watch. Yeah. It's 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 become really I'm just I'm T V fatigued, not even just yeah, two no. superheroes. I'm I am, just legitimately I, TV I am with you there. Fatigued. Like honestly sometimes I'm just like I'm gonna turn on a, a fucking podcast. Right. Yeah. Because just I, the, like I can't just stare yeah. at the thing and not yeah, do anything. Exactly. Like if it's there, if with a podcast, at least I can listen to it and get shit done. With right. TV, some TV especially, I have to focus and watch. Like, I'm glad I was overseas when the final episode of the season of Westworld came out. Mm. I would still recommend you watch it. It's only nine episodes. Uh, seriously, dude. Watch the first everybody episode. says it's legit. Watch but the I first just... episode. If you don't like it, then fucking stop. What's one episode? I don't even think that's not even the problem. I don't think I won't like it. I'm more worried that I will like it, and then it's just more shit I have to but watch. But it's fine because it's only the nine episodes. You can binge it like you do Netflix. It's done. Oh, huh, maybe. It's done. Maybe like with uh with Walking Dead. Right, right, right. Uh, like this season, I started watching it again, but oh, after okay. the episode where 
the big death happens, the big death reveal. Uh, I started watching it after that, but I only watched like two episodes, and then I just started watching Talking Dead again. I'm like, I just, I want to see people talk about it. Yeah, I was I gonna say, it's almost, watch. it's almost like you 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 enjoy wa- watching Talking Dead more than than yeah, Walking Dead. Yeah, because I I like the conversation. About right, right, the right. Show, no, no. But I don't necessarily want to feel the tension that that show supplies. <laughs> Do you know what's weird? I, I some, I'm sometimes feeling the same way regarding uh, Raw and SmackDown. Right. You just watch, watch Steven Larson. <laughs> I watch Steven Larson, but I also watch uh, another one that I, uh, JD from NY, where he just talks about the episode. Right. And they're more entertaining than the episode. Right. <laughs> and that's yep. not good. It's not, but, you know, it's up and down. So the, the shows are up and down. I don't know, dude. But, yeah. I still enjoy wrestling. It's still dope, but yeah. TV, yeah. What with Talking Dead, because it's a podcast. It's a video, right. video podcast mm-hmm. talking about stuff that you know about and you were at one point interested in. So right, and they show clips of it. Yeah, and they yeah, show yeah. Some behind the scenes, and that's Whereas fine. To me. <laughs> watching, wa- watching Walking Dead, the tension is there for you to it actually. It stresses me out. Yeah, dude. it stresses me out too bad because. Because they, they successfully made me give enough of a shit about the mm-hmm. characters to where I don't want to watch any of them die. True, true. I don't necessarily need to watch every little thing they do, but I don't want to watch them suffer incredibly. But uh, Talking Dead is just an easier way without the uh, tension. And that's what you don't want, the tension, right? Yeah. But yeah, I think that uh, pretty much covers everything. I think it does. Yeah. Uh, it's almost, um, we're about 47 minutes recording for, on this test video podcast thing. I think it's like been a good length. I like it. I think this is good. I'm curious how long it's going to take to upload the video version versus the... Not long, dude, because when I upload the video, it's it's done. It's quick, yeah. Well... Yeah. My new connection is sweet. I'll, I'll probably, because there's... there's I'm, I'm, I'm including all this in it because since this is the first one, uh, right. there's like the black letterbox bars. I might okay. have just chip a chap chat in the episode underneath it. That makes sense. Yeah. That way, you know, it's no biggie. I'll have yeah. to get like a proper background at some point. Uh, my background is just whatever. I don't really, whatever. <laughs> it's got my, got, it's got my name there. back there. <laughs> I should I hang know. up my banner on the door or something. You should have it. It's It's there. I mean, yeah. we're not pro enough to have, like, the green screen or whatever, because it's not like we can use them shits anyways. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck we would yeah. do with it. No. It'd be <laughs> terrible. It'd be terrible. Yeah. But this will be, this will be, this is fine. Whatever. This seems this like fine. enough for now. Yeah, this is fine. And because it's recording audio, too, I can just extract the audio from this. There's the audio podcast. Oh, snap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to see how it goes. Let's see what people say about it. Yeah. And it's like, bring back the art. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I feel like this me. doesn't have to be an every time thing. No. But, you know, we're doing like trailer discussions or something yep. like that. It seems like it'd be fine. Do you know what's also weird, though? I've had people ask um, about like including video to my other, like, you know, when we do art streams. Mm-hmm. They always like, oh, why aren't you on the screen? It's like that adds more personality when you're actually on the screen. And I'm like, but what are you looking at? Yeah, you're just looking at me fucking stare all the yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I, I do like the dog uh, swivel head. Exactly. It's not. It's not good. I think this way works better because it's a conversation. Like, I still can't talk to the screen just talking to the screen. Right. <laughs> Here's a podcast. Oh, what's up, me Chipper Chaps? Chips. Right. Chips. Oh, Chips. welcome to Chipper Chaps. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that is the most you'll get from us. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just essentially just going to be this. I think this works out. We could probably do a couple episodes like this. I also have ADD, so it's hard for me to draw and conversate at the same time. Also, though, this is actually good because um, there is really no editing here. It's just a raw video. Oh yeah, that's probably fine. I don't I think know, it'll. That's good because, that way, <laughs> because knowing that it's also video recording, we have to. We can't just sit here like. Right. Like I just did then. <laughs> just yeah, like should, that. Yeah, we should end this soon. End it now. Well, that this was will be uh, a test run. Mm-hmm. Sixty-seven. So, so until next time, guys. Stay chip chaps. 
Stay creamy, Chippy Chaps. Stay creamy, Chaps. <laughs>